I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to disable the VB meta flags for both Verity as well as verification. I recently received a request asking how to install a popular custom kernel on the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro smartphones. The way Google implements its security protections on these devices, we cannot simply flash a custom kernel to it and then be done. We actually need to disable Verity and verification on the device first so that it can boot up with the custom kernel installed. There will be some things that you need to know before you begin. For example, a major downside to this is that disabling these flags will require a full wipe of all of your data. So if you want to proceed with this tutorial, then be sure to back up your important data ahead of time. Not only that, but with these flags disabled, you also must be careful about installing over-the-air updates because they will need to be done in a certain way. We can't just install them through the built-in updater because that will install VB Meta with those flags enabled and that ends up requiring a full wipe of your data again. Instead, it's likely going to be easier to use the Android Flash tool each month you want to install a new over-the-air update as it allows you to quickly disable those flags. We'll actually be using that website in today's video to disable Verity and verification on the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. To start off, you will need to unlock the bootloader if you haven't done so already. After that, we have to enable developer mode and then toggle the USB debugging mode feature on. If you're not familiar with how any of that is done, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll provide some links to previous videos that I have done that will walk you through the entire process. Now after you have USB debugging mode enabled, we should head into the settings application and then scroll all the way down to the about phone section. Then look in the Android version menu and make note of the build number that you see down here at the bottom. With this build number in mind, let's take a look at the Google Factory Images website on your desktop or laptop PC. Here we are at the Factory Images website for Nexus and Pixel devices. I'll have this website linked in the video description below as well. And you're going to want to scroll down until you find your device in this list. Then we're going to scroll down a little bit more. Looking at the build number and then match what you found on your device that is currently installed on your device. This will likely be the latest version, so it will be down at the bottom of the list. But again, just make sure that you're matching the build number that you see here with what is installed on your smartphone. Once you find that build, we're going to be clicking on the flash link next to it. And then it's going to be asking you if you want to grant access to ADB keys. Go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to connect our Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro to the PC with a USB cable. Once the USB cable has been connected, you will want to grant USB debugging mode access if you haven't done so already. 
And then we're going to click on this drop down box right here for the selected devices. And then choose our Pixel 7 Pro or our regular Pixel 7. Then scroll down here a little bit. Click on the Advanced Options drop down. And again, we're going to want to disable Verity as well as Verification. It's also a good idea to force flash on all partitions. And with those options selected, we're going to click on the blue Install Build button. Confirm that we have our Pixel 7 Pro selected. We have Force Flash, Disable Verity, and Disable Verification selected. And then Confirm. Click Accept. It's going to tell you that a factory reset is required. Yes, we want to continue. And now you should see your smartphone reboot as it begins the installation process. Now we're going to wait for the Android Flash tool to download the firmware to our PC and then manually flash it to our Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro. During this process, it will also make sure that the VB meta flags for Verity and Verification are also set to Disabled since we chose those options. And now we just need to wait for this process to be completed. You will see your smartphone reboot multiple times on its own. And follow these warnings here. There is no need to unplug the device while this is happening. And you don't need to interact with the device at all unless instructed to do so by this page. So there's no need to pick up your smartphone, no need to handle the USB cable. You want to make sure that you have and maintain a secure connection during this entire process. Failing to do so could result in a boot loop and likely would require you to start this process all over again. Once the firmware has finished downloading, then it will switch over to extracting the files within that download and then flashing it or installing it to your device. I'm going to go ahead and skip through all of this waiting time to prevent the video from being longer than it needs to be. Now when you see it says install complete, your smartphone will reboot on its own and as it says, it is now safe to unplug your device. This first boot back into Android is likely going to take longer than normal because all of our data has been erased and Android needs to set some things back up before it can be activated again. We just need to go through the setup process and get back into Android. Now you can root your phone with Magisk like you normally would or begin the installation process of your custom kernel of choice. I have already done a video that I can link down below which shows you how to check and make sure that Verity and Verification have been disabled. But as long as you follow through with the steps that I showed you today, then everything should be done correctly. I will be looking into installing the Kira Sakura kernel on these devices this week and hope to get a video about that here on the channel in the near future.